We got a question from Ethan. I'm a 32-year-old Navy veteran, and I've been a new fan of your work, particularly the kettlebell training. I feel like I have a good swing, clean press, Turkish getup, and gobble squat, but I really struggle with perfect snatch form. Your RKC prep workout on your website looks really appealing because I like the frequency, the complexes, and the ladders. Would this be a good training program for me to pursue? I have a home gym, and I like the five-day-per-week schedule. I don't have aspirations to get an RKC certification, but I'd love to be able to complete the snatch test as a fitness goal. Um, I got to tell you, Ethan, uh, I get a lot of questions, and uh, sometimes it's nice because I think you sort of answered your question in the question. Um, you want to train five days a week? I have a program that asks for five days a week training. Uh, you want to improve your snatch, and I have a program that takes 12 weeks to do it. Uh, yes, so my answer is a definitive yes, especially if you got the courage to be smart and try it. Uh, the only thing uh, I can't really, uh, I can imagine what your sn snatch work looks like, but I can't see it. So why don't you post your snatch technique on the forum there at Dan John University? And then I'll, I'll I'll give you a chance. I'll give you a little bit of feedback there. That's the best advice I have for you. Uh, I don't know where you live or anything, but if you do have a good, you know, if you know if you do have an RKC around you, um, you know, tell them I sent you and uh, let me know. You know, half an hour or somebody might be all you need. Five minutes with somebody might be all you need. Uh, very often when I improve people's kettlebell snatch form. It's something very minor, but it the impact is major. Um, anytime you have a issue with the ballistic movement, uh, something a smaller thing you overlook manifests itself uh, bigly, if you will. Uh, I guess that's a word now. Um, yeah, the, the small little issues uh, can really kind of have have big consequences. Uh, my number one thing for coaching people on the snatch technique is always think with the start of the rep is with the hand overhead, the way to walk position, the top of the Turkish get up or press. And then what I concentrate people on is an, an aggressive descent, uh, either, you know, the push the milk out, unzip the zipper, the swimming movement. But it's got to be it's got to be a, a harsh movement down uh, that aggressively a, a attacks the zipper, and it turns into that big hinge, and then you become a boom 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 rocket to the top. Uh, the biggest flaws I see uh, people will there's two big flaws, but they kind of almost look they almost they're, they're just opposite sides of the problem is they cast the bell out way out there far, and so all the load magically just goes into the lower back and it really hurts and then when they bring the weight back up in you know they bring the load vertical they cast the bell out too far ahead and they have the same issue coming back uh once that issue is corrected that um i've i've had people tell me that they were told to do snatches in front of a wall i don't know if i like that i like the idea i i just don't want you hitching if it hits the wall, it's going to do a lot of damage to the wall. And if it doesn't damage the wall, it bounces back and hits your face. I'm imagining a 24 kilo bell hitting your face is going to hurt. Uh, now, remember, that's not medical advice. I'm just guessing here. So I like the idea, Ethan. Let me know how it goes. And uh, uh, I appreciate this. Thank you.